Hi, Nikki Murray Hansen here. I had a question from Tred Trower on the OPTA Open Group on Facebook, which stands for Orthotic Prosthetic Technological Association. I have listed a link to the group page here. Ted's question asked if horses have a significantly lighter bone structure than cattle. Well, depending on the breed of horse or cow, that's tough to say. What I can show you, though, are the differences between cow and horse cannon bones and why conducting my research in the horse is significantly simplified. Cannon bones, or metacarpals, are located between what most people perceive as the horse or cow's knee and ankle on their front limb. Here I have a horse's metacarpal bone on the left and a cow's metacarpal bone on the right. They look similar enough, but let's take a closer look. Metacarpal bones can be found in human hands too. Take a look at mine. The bones in this area here are numbered with the thumb as being metacarpal 1, metacarpal 2, metacarpal 3, metacarpal 4, and metacarpal 5. Going back to the horse bone, this is the horse's third metacarpal bone. Same as the bone in my hand right here. Just a different configuration. Flipping the bone to the back side, you'll notice these split bones. Which, they're just underdeveloped metacarpal numbers two and four. Here, two and four. And their only purpose is to serve as support bones. On the cow bone, you'll notice this indentation here. It's called the dorsal longitudinal sulcus. That's a fancy way to say a depression running the length of the bone. This sulcus represents the division between metacarpals three and four that have fused together, like two trees growing together when planted too closely. The cow has two digits, or phalanges, that articulate here and here. The horse only has one digit that attaches here, and it's a hoof. A horse walks around on the end of what would be our middle finger, third metacarpal bone, proximal, middle, and distal phalange. I always thought that was so cool. <laughs>